Hello and welcome to At Home with Anita Rosner. Today we are going to do a super simple, quick, easy, delicious meal, skillet eggplant parmesan. <laughs> So the first thing we're going to do is remove the top of our eggplant and the bottom, what chefs call top and tail. Whoops, where are you going? And now we're just going to peel the eggplant. This dish is so simple and so quick and easy. And if you don't want to heat up the kitchen, you don't have to turn on the oven because we're going to do it all in a skillet on the top of the stove. Our eggplant is peeled. So now I'm going to cut it using a mandolin. You don't need a mandolin to do this. Uh, you can just cut it with a knife. I have this set at half inch. We're gonna make half inch slices. If you use a mandolin, always use the safety feature because these things can do some serious damage on your hands. All right, here we go. I love how easily eggplant cuts. And I like using the mandolin because I know that the slices are all uniform. Now we have our eggplant, very, very simple. Next, in this bowl, got about a half a cup of breadcrumbs to which I added a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese and just Mix those together. Oh, and a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. Alrighty. And then here we are going to lightly beat an egg. So we have our eggplant, our egg, and our crumb mixture. We're gonna move over to the stove, fry these up. So over medium, medium high heat, we're going to heat up a good swizzle of olive oil. And we're just going to dip the eggplant in the egg and then bread it. Before I turn these over, I'm just going to give them another little drizzle. Okay, these look very nice. We're going to turn the heat down to medium low. We're gonna give them one more sprinkle of Parmesan. Parmigiana. And pour on a little marinara. Top with a little provolone. Then cover. A 
cook for five minutes. And here it is. Easy, so cheesy, and delicious. Skillet eggplant parmesan. Done and done. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Become a subscriber and leave a comment for me. I love to hear from you. Join me again next time here at home with Anita Rosner. Until then, thanks for watching.